I'm in a long-term relationship with this product and I'll never cheat on you. The Skin and Lab Vitamin C. I am so sorry, ladies and gentlemen, girls, gays, and theys. I guess I'm feeling a little extra violent today. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. It's Korean skincare time. Okay, that was extremely millennial of me and very cringe, I'm sorry. Let me try that again. It's Korean skincare time, batch. So many of you guys have been requesting me to talk about my favorite Korean skincare products because Korean skincare has been trending across a bunch of different apps, but specifically TikTok. It's really popping off right now. And what have I been telling you guys? I've been talking about Korean skincare for years, but nobody wanted to pay attention. Just kidding. I'm just glad everyone is discovering Korean skincare right now because it is uh, a magical world to behold. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all of my recent Korean skincare favorites that are are under $20, dollar dollar bills, y'all. Because I get it, times are tough. We could all save a little bit of money on skincare. As usual, all the products that I'm talking about in today's video will be listed in the description box below. If you do wanna start shopping and support the channel, I would really appreciate it. But no pressure as always. Okay, let's jump into these products because there's a lot of them. And don't worry, you guys, I have recommendations for every skin type and every part of the skincare routine. First up, let's talk cleansers. This is one that I absolutely love and the founder is a good friend of mine. The Cosmic Dew Water Cleanser from Good Light. I have found myself returning to this product over and over and over because it does just such a good job of cleansing the skin without overly stripping it. I'd say if you have more like combination to dry leaning skin, this is definitely a good one to check out and you can actually find them, I believe, at all Ulta's. And it's 16 bucks, you only have to use very little. The nice thing I will say about this one is that for most Korean skincare products, you do have to like ship them from Korea or from Hong Kong so they can take a while to get to you. But this one you can easily find in the USA at all Ulta's. And I do want to apologize real quick. I was originally going to be using all these products on my face, but I'm actually not using skincare for a week. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I'm not kidding. I decided to challenge myself for a new YouTube video by not using skincare for an entire week and it's killing me. Ugh. I'm uh, actually dying inside. So don't judge my skin too harshly if it looks extra rough right now because the texture is texturing mama. Next up, and this is a great product if you are someone who likes a little bit of like a scrub experience because I know even though we know scrubs aren't the best for the skin, they do feel very satisfying. And I know some of y'all want that experience. And this is a great way to get it without the damage, the Buy Wish Trend Green Tea Enzyme Face Wash. No, Powder Wash. I discovered this product a while ago and it's so nice because you get for like a few seconds that nice satisfying scrub experience, but then it ends up breaking down with water that breaks down the cleanser to not only clean the skin, but also enzymatically exfoliate the skin as well. So it's a great like two, in, well not two, three in one scrub enzymes cleanse. It's a great multi-purpose product from a great brand. Definitely has that Korean skincare innovation. All right, now onto some serums. My most recent find is the Toridin Balance Full Serum. When I looked at this ingredient list, I was like, holy mackerel. <laughs> I just realized holy mackerel is such a white thing to say. But anyway, this ingredient list is pretty freaking incredible. It has glycerin, centella asiatica, matacasic acid, as well as matacasicide, which are extremely concentrated forms of green tea that are very rare to find in products and can typically only be found in like the highest quality Korean skincare products. This ingredient list is so loaded with incredible ingredients and it's a lovely experience. It's fragrance free. It absorbs into the skin very quickly. Just an awesome product that I highly recommend for anyone who has more sensitive skin, anyone who wants to heal their moisture barrier, get some hydration, reduce any redness. Another one, which I haven't talked about for a while, but it's a really good one is the Skin and Lab Vitamin C. <laughs> I am so sorry, ladies and gentlemen, girls, gays, and theys. I guess I'm feeling a little extra violent today. <laughs> it's probably because I swigged three shots of espresso before filming this. Apologies, y'all. The Skin and Lab Vitamin C Brightening Serum. I used this one a while back and hadn't picked it up for a little while. And I remembered, I was like, oh, you know what? I really like this one, particularly if you're someone who wants to fade hyperpigmentation in the skin, protect your skin throughout the day, help fade dark spots. Like vitamin C is great for all of that. It has a 15% concentration, but it's still pretty gentle on the skin. And it has a form of vitamin C that is protected against air and light exposure. So definitely a good one to check out. And then finally, one of my top serums of all time. I used to recommend this one all the time in my videos videos and you bet your ass as soon as this face starts using skincare again I I I'm gonna make love to it it's the Ionique Tea Tree Relief Serum. I remember when I first used this, I was like, I did not know serums this lightweight could exist. Because if you have oily skin or you struggle with breakouts or just don't wanna feel like your skin is heavy on your face, this one is incredible for it. Not only does it have a packed ingredient list, but it works to reduce any excess sebum and oil on the skin as well as reduce redness and sensitivity. And even though it says it has tea tree in it, it just has the extract and not the fragrant component. So you're not slapped with the tea tree smell. It's fragrance free and an amazing formula for a great product. 
price. Okay, moving on from serums. Ah, moisturizers. I have three, one for each skin type, broski. Oh, that rhymed. Call me Shakespeare. The first up for anyone who has oily skin, I've talked about this product for I don't even know how long. It remains one of my favorite moisturizers I have ever, ever used. The Rovectin Clean Lotus Water Cream. I combined like three accents saying that. Anyway, this moisturizer is incredible. If you want a very lightweight gel moisturizer experience, it works really well to deeply hydrate the skin, but never looks too greasy or glowy on the skin. Plus it has one of the highest concentrations of lotus extract that I've ever seen in a product which is great if you're wanting to prevent against premature damage in the skin, like aging, dullness, dryness, and it's a great price point. I think just this year alone, I've used this for like three months straight. Such a freaking good moisturizer. But if you have more like combination skin, if you want some moisture on your dry areas, but not too much greasiness on your more oily areas, the iUnique Centella Calming Gel Cream is that bitch. This moisturizer is so freaking good. And if you're wondering why it looks familiar, it's a somewhat similar formula to this one, but of course this one is a moisturizer and it's such such a good balance of like this gel moisturizer that definitely packs a punch for moisture. But if you are a little afraid of greasiness, like I know I am, this one's a great balance in between, which is why I think it's such a good one for people who do have combination skin. Muy, muy bien. And then if you're someone who is wanting to address your dryness, like you have really dehydrated dry skin, and especially as we're going into the winter months, the Skin and Lab Barrier Derm Intensive cream. <laughs> I personally really enjoy using it overnight because I'm not someone who has dry skin, but I definitely want as much moisturizer as I can pack on my skin overnight. I would say it's a similar consistency to like the Skin Fix moisturizer or like La Mer cream, but obviously for a much more affordable price point. It's really good, particularly if you do deal with a wrecked moisture barrier. Anyway, really good moisturizer for dry skin. Oh shit, I forgot about toner. So I will be honest, I am not necessarily the avid toner user. However, I know the a lot of people who really like Korean skincare do really like toners. And there are a few out there that I do like. This one particularly from a brand called Benton. They're kind of like a classic in Korean skincare. And I like this one because it does have BHA, which is salicylic acid, but alongside other incredible ingredients like aloe leaf extract, as well as snail secretion filtrate, which is incredible for really hydrating the skin as well as defending your skin against damage. Hyaluronic acid, beta-glucan, plus of course 0.5% of salicylic acid to get that like poor exfoliating experience without the dryness. If you are thinking about going into the toner game, this is definitely a good one to go with. And Benton overall is a brand that I really like for their product selection. And then let's get to my favorite part. The type of product that Korean skincare just... I'm lost for words. <laughs> Outperforms literally any other market on, and I know you guys are already a fan of some of these products. Sunscreens, and there is a new one that I cannot even describe how obsessed with this product I am. And it went viral on TikTok quite a while ago, and it took me forever to actually start using it, but boy. <laughs> Am I so glad I did? I'm getting to get emotional over this product. It is the Beauty of Joseon Matte Sun Stick. I truly have no words. I saw this trending on TikTok for a while, and I'll be honest, I am not necessarily a big sun stick person. I do prefer a cream. However, a bitch sometimes struggles to reapply their skincare routine. I will admit it. I'm not the best at reapplication, and that's where sticks can really come in handy. And this product has officially blown my ever-loving mind. Because not only does it effectively apply sunscreen on your faced. It has literally zero white cast. Okay, you know what guys, I'm gonna break my skin fast. I know I haven't applied skincare in a week, but sunscreen doesn't count. Literally no white cast. Like, look at that. Nothing! But it also mattifies the skin. Do you know how hard it is to find a sunscreen that mattifies the skin? It's like impossible. Like, I found maybe like three sunscreens that actually like effectively keep the skin really matte. And look at it. Nothing's there. What is the sorcery? I don't understand it, but I have to say I will be purchasing this for the rest of my life. I don't need to use any other sunscreen like I found it. This is Bay. I'm in a long-term relationship with this product and I'll never cheat on you. Just kidding. There's other sunscreens I like which I'm going to talk about but that is an incredible one I highly recommend but in the similar family of course the beauty of Joseon SPF 50 sunscreen. I've talked about this in so many videos and it to this day remains the number one product that you guys purchase on my channel. You guys freaking love this sunscreen. It also went viral on TikTok. Just incredible formula. I will say this one does not give necessarily a matte finish to the skin like this one does. However, it still feels very lightweight. It still holds up in humidity and is particularly a great option for anyone who has combination to dry skin. Of course, with zero white cast, like all of the best Korean sunscreens do. I'm not gonna dwell on this one because I've talked about it in so many videos. The Beauty of Joseon SPF 50 formula. The Beauty of Joseon SPF 50 sunscreen. Beauty of Joseon SPF 50 formula.
And then finally, the last one that I have been using recently and really enjoying, and I kind of wish I had started using it earlier, but it's the iUnique Centella Calming Daily Sunscreen. You may notice that iUnique is featured three times in this video, but it is truly one of my favorite Korean skincare brands. All of their products just hit. Mm. But this one has a 49% concentration of Centella Asiatica extract, which is great for compensating for any redness or irritation your skin might experience from being in the sun. Plus it literally has zero white cast. Like I will show you. Look, Baba Baba boy. nothing, no white cast. It feels very similar to like a moisturizer. And I will admit for these two, there have been days where I've just skipped a moisturizer and just put these on and they still do a great job of moisturizing the skin. But I feel like this is a very underrated sunscreen, but performs really well. And if you're someone who's new to Korean skincare or you're looking for a new sunscreen to try, this one is a killer one to use, I highly recommend. And those are all the products, you guys. I know there's a lot of them. I did not shy away from the product recommendations, but I just want to get you guys set up with like the perfect Korean skincare routine. And these are not necessarily all of my favorites. Like there are so many Korean skincare products that I could recommend, but these are definitely like my more recent favorites. And if you guys want more videos like this with Korean skincare recommendations, I am happy to make them because I could talk about this shit all day. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. And like I said before, if you are interested in getting any of these products, they will all be linked in the description box below. Feel free to let me know what other types of videos you guys want to see in the future as well. I am always open to your recommendations and love to hear your guys' thoughts. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. And wish me luck for the rest of this no skincare journey because I might not make it. I'm struggling. But anyway, <laughs> love you guys. Mwah.